Hi, you're on in Roberts here at Roberts Hedge Cutting. We're here today in Quilche with the bad weather, just waiting to get back going here now before the daylight takes off on us again. Hours are short these days. We've been a hedge cutting I met at 16 years now before that. It was my dad. He started off with David Browns and Hydros and brothers are cutting as well before me and still involved in it and going well for us. Nowadays we have running the McConnell 77-75 and John Deere 6930 I drive myself. We've had other makes over the years but we find the McConnell now very good and reliable, good machines and strong, well built. Had 65 hundreds before, the reason we went for the bigger one, the 77, 75 this time was longer reach for sawn, stronger machine, bigger pumps in it, faster, just get over ground quicker. Today we're running the flail head but we do have the saw on sometimes, it's handy for heavy growth or people that leave their hedges longer, it's easier on the machine and we have the quick hitch on it as well so it's easy, quick change over, a couple of minutes in your change from flail to saw. It's on the flail we run the F14s, we found very reliable and strong flail, the do grass or an all around flail. Um, we had F10s before, we find them breaking very easy, so the F14s are so far so good and they have very good flail. Back years ago, and when the father and the brothers were at it before me, you'd have to get the rotors balanced and change flails and welding at night in sheds, but now it's, we'd change them every three or four years to keep them up to date for the amount of work they're doing, like just keep the hedge cutter up to date and it's easier on yourself, you have no much maintenance then. On this 77-75 we have the 6930 John Deere, it's, you don't need the power, it's not the power you need, it's the weight, the stability. When it's out to its full reach, it's, you need all your stability you can get, so the 6930 I find is a good steady machine for us and very reliable and comfort as well, so you're everything in it. It is a bit different from your normal 6930, I've added a few lights and a few different things as you can see over the years. It's, when you meet it now it stands out on the road, it is a bit eye-catching. So I'm not here alone today, I have the brother here as well in the 6215R and the daylight is going away from us and time is money so we better get back to it.